Because if not for the few thousand in attendance on Sunday at Muirfield Village, there might not have been a single normal thing about Sunday at the Memorial Tournament. Where did the weirdness begin? The 54-hole leader was absent from the stretch despite completing Saturday with a six-stroke lead. The atmosphere was buzzing with 17-year cicadas, which added a strange tone to the TV broadcast and, in real life, frequently swooped from the trees onto unsuspecting victims below. There was the rain, too, which fell not in drops but in globs, but only for about 180 seconds. Other than those fans, not one thing was normal about Sunday, right up until the moment Patrick Cantley claimed his fifth career PGA Tour win, and second at Muirfield, over Colin Morikawa on the 73rd hole of competition. There's maybe a little hint of something I can't quite put my finger on, Cantley said after his victory. Um, a little hint of weird. A weird day at the end of an exceedingly weird week. One that featured a two-day rainstorm, a series of fan ejections for the offense of calling a player by the wrong name, and a stone-cold whiff by the eventual runner-up. Not even the golf course was as expected. The Muirfield Village redesign yielded a winning score that was four strokes lower than last year, though that was largely helped by soft, soggy conditions over the opening three days. Nicklaus admitted during CBS's telecast on Saturday that, it'll take time for the course to properly grow into its new form. But nothing about Sunday at the memorial was weirder than the situation involving John Rahm. Never in the history of professional golf has a player been forced to withdraw from a tournament while holding a six-stroke 54-hole lead on account of a positive test sample. That is a fact that requires no cross-referencing, and it represents elite company John Rahm never wished to see himself enter. Yet there he was, shortly after 6 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, bent over in a moment of utter astonishment off the 18th green as he realized his miraculous, tournament record-tying effort through the first three rounds would not be given a final round swan song. John Rahm forced to withdraw from Memorial with six-shot lead due to positive COVID-19 test by James Colgan it was fitting, naturally, that Cantley would snag a victory in a playoff after dueling with two players Rahm was paired with on Saturday, Morikawa and Scotty Scheffler. And fitting still that none of the three, or anyone really, had the appropriate words to contextualize Rahm's disappointment. Such a weird situation and very unfortunate, Cantley said. He played so amazing the first three rounds that the way I felt Sunday morning was obviously a lot different than I felt on walking off the 18th green on Saturday. My heart just sank, Scheffler added. It's terrible that that happened. I think it's terrible they told him in front of the cameras. I just, my heart is still, it just sinks for him. I just feel awful.